Right. Now what we've got here is a collection of the more premium Fondelin collection. Uh, starting with Chardonnay from our barrel selection range. Merlot, also barrel matured in the barrel selection range. And of course Cabernet Sauvignon. After that, our flagship wines, the Babiana, a white blend based on Chenin Blanc. And the Monsonia, a red blend based on Shiraz. Now these two wines are named after flowers endemic to our region, the Paderberg Mountain. Starting with the Chardonnay, I believe white wine, even if it's barrel matured, should always be refreshing. And Chardonnay is great for that because it has that beautiful citrus lift to it. And this wine is no exception. Lovely citrus freshness, followed by uh, almonds and a hint of caramelized oak. On the palate, quite creamy, uh, well rounded and full, with plenty of structure from the barrels. Now, this wine is a wine which you'll probably drink uh, later in the evening, drink it with food or with lunchtime, fish, pastas. Sadly, many of the restaurants where you would be able to enjoy it are now closed, so hopefully, you have some at home or can perhaps shop online. working on for more than 13 years. Chenin Blanc base, only the Chenin Blanc is between 50 and 60 percent and is followed by Viennier, Grenache and Rousseau. So the Chenin Blanc brings that fullness and that roundness, plenty of uh, deep and tropical fruits. Viennier brings a bit of spice, a bit of a floral lift and it's also quite a viscous, uh, oily kind of wine. So again, fills your palate up, Grenache Blanc is uh, vibrant and slightly acidic so it freshens up the palate balances the fullness of the Chenin and the Viennier and then Roussan also just lovely muscat like floral aromas and just finishes it off in a small uh, portion quite a serious wine complex but not heavy uh, definitely something you'll enjoy with food and very well suited to aging So this is the, the first time that I'm actually presenting the Barrel Selection Merlot, a fairly new release for us, only being released at the beginning of uh, March 2020, and something which we hope will grow from strength to strength. Barrel matured in small French oak, that'd be 300 litre French barrels, for about a year and a half before I do a barrel selection, and that's where it gets its name, and only the best barrels go into uh, the final blend and are then bottled and matured for a portion of time in the bottle before it being released. So Merlot being a thin skin varietal doesn't uh, get too heavy but never lacks for complexity. This wine no exception. You're getting that beautiful red berry fruit that one associates with, um, with Merlot. Not so dark, more the red berry fruit. So it's, it's, it's quite, uh, how do I say, uh, fresh vibrant, alluring, rather than being deep and broody. Great color on this. And just velvety smooth, plenty of spice, very light pepperiness to it, and just a lovely long finish. Barrel selection. Cabernet. It's uh, 2017 and you don't really want something too much younger than that. Cabernet Sauvignons can be quite robust. This is uh, thanks to the rather small berry and thick skin that they have. So the ratio of skin to juice during fermentation is quite high. You get quite a lot of tannin, uh, quite a lot of color and a fairly spicy dark fruited wine. All right, so on the nose, what you'd expect to get, and do get, is uh, dark fruit, blue fruit, that's cassis, a uh, slight bit of black cherry, hint of black pepper, all those sort of classical characteristics of Cabernet Sauvignon on the palate. Mm. 
really delicious, fuller than a Merlot, uh, a little bit more broody, a little bit more smoky perhaps, and um, a little bit more structural. So you want this with uh, perhaps a juicy steak or something along those lines, and of course you get that light peppery finish. Flagship Red, the Monsonia, Shiraz Lead. Now on the farm our soils are mostly granite soils and granite tends to bring a bit of life to your wine. And so Shiraz, which can sometimes be a bit too broody and perhaps wallowy, is uplifted and there's lots of verve in the wine thanks to the soil. Um, and not just the soil, but of course it's blended with Mourvedre and Grenache which soften and freshen the wine as well. They're not such tannic wines, but they have a great floral bouquet, um, sort of a potpourri, wild floral bouquet, rather than uh, ornamental flowers or lilies or something like that. And a little bit of caramel as well, which adds to the spice. And you'd expect to find something quite dark, quite broody in this wine. Um, we've aged it a bit longer, it's a 2016. It softened it so you get this really full wine which is non-aggressive, very complex, draws you in with sort of every sniff that you give the wine and of course then when you taste it, really pops in the mouth, fills the mouth up, really juicy, velvety, smooth, lingers and lingers and lingers. This is a wine which because of its fullness and its roundness and the fact that it's got a bit of age in it will be enjoyed in exactly the same kind of style. Comfortable environments, good conversation and slow cooked meats and foods.